It is time for midday prayers at Zaytuna College in Berkeley, California, the first and only Islamic liberal arts college in the United States. It's a fledgling institution with only 31 students operating out of space rented from a Baptist seminary. It's spelled out the whole way. But, the school's know, the, mission is, is to join Islamic scholarship with the Western academic uh, emphasis on free inquiry um, and developing you know, critical Turkish intellectual culture, capability. You know, uh, especially as you're attempting to do something that has not been done before, which is to create an institution that weds or marries the best of what ha the Muslim world has in, in terms of intellectual tradition and also uh, provide some of the best intellectual tradition in here and create this uh, liberal arts college that is grounded in thinking person, in graduating a thinking person. Zaytuna attracts some serious young people, like second year student Adil Khan, who is studying Islamic law and theology. I have always yearned to study Islamic studies, so it seemed like a perfect opportunity, and I feel like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for, especially in America, you know, it's very hard to find this type of like unique, um, like dynamic curriculum. Adil's parents approve of his choice, but some relatives were puzzled. Behind it, I have some extended family who are like, what are you doing? Um, how are you going to make money? And what, like, aren't, you should like become an engineer or something. And I'm just like, you know, there's something more than that, you know. We're at Madiha Gohar from Sacramento, California, wanted to study Arabic, and she wanted to do it close to home. And I didn't want to go to the Middle East or anywhere uh, outside of the United States to learn Arabic. I wanted to stay here. Yeah. Um, she's a really close friend of mine. She's more Aisha more Darab was accepted at several right. prestigious U.S. universities, but chose Zaytuna. So Her college that, quest is yeah, one that's familiar that to people. many young adults and with an Islamic twist. Because one of the main reasons I wanted to come here was to kind of figure out myself. Um, and I always thought of that in a sense that, you know, if I figure out God, then I can, you know, find out who I am. And so I'm able to do that here in Toronto. Next year, Zaytuna will have a campus of its own, housed in this former boys' school high on a hill overlooking San Francisco Bay. Zaytuna hasn't yet been fully accredited as an institution of higher education, but the college hopes to achieve that goal, perhaps by the time its first graduating class of 10 students leaves campus in 2014. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Berkeley, California.